Hello beautiful people, welcome once again. It's your girl with the blessed hands. Today in Tina's kitchen, we are going to be making some banana puff puffs. banana puff puff yes that is what we are going to make today stay tuned as i introduce my ingredients we will need some flour we will be using some sugar you have a cup of sugar actually we will be using some banana yes ripe banana we are using milk uh, unsweetened milk to be precise then i have my yeast i have my nut milk then i also have a pinch of salt so i'm going to mix all the dry ingredients together i will mix the dry ingredients together and then i will set my banana aside i will blend this banana and add it later so i start by mixing the dry ingredients i give it a good mix then i go in with my milk and mix it like i said in the other video of how to make puff puff whenever you're doing mixture of something like puff puff you have to be coming in with your liquid bit by bit because if you put it all at once it may be rough it may not be smooth enough so i set my banana aside then i mix my dough very well while mixing i realized that it was not having the consistency that i needed so i I went in with my warm water just a little bit of it like half a cup of warm water for it to have that consistency that I need in puff puff you know puff puff is watery almost like donut but a bit watery than donut so when I mixed and realized that the mixture was good I have to set it aside for it to rise so it stayed for one Hour. then coming back my puff puff was already times two and what I did now I had my banana blended and then I added two cups of blended banana banana puree so what you maybe you've been doing banana puff puff and you don't have a good result this is where the problem lies if you mix all at once it will not rise to this level so you have to first of all mix your puff puff separately when it has rise to the level you want it to be that's when you come in with your banana or your blended banana so after adding the banana i mix it all together yes look at that it's going down but there is no problem if your yeast is very active like the active yeast that is supposed to be used just mix it it's going to rise back when you put it in your hot oil so my oil was on fire already and look at how I'm doing just like I did with the other puff puff the way I'm dropping it in oil there yeah look at my hand movement that's you scoop it and then using your hand you put it in the oil so look at that once it enter the oil it it it, it, it comes back to that shape yes look at that fluffy puff puff I bet you this puff puff was one of the best puff puff I've made so good to eat with some hot chili yeah some hot chili sauce so that was just it i didn't want to take much of your time in this very um, recipe because i've done a, how to make puff puff already so the only change here is just the mixture and you will have your puff puff ready i repeated this till i fried the last batch lord and behold my puff puff came out just like i had thought of it was so yummy i prefer this honestly if you give this a try you will prefer this from the normal puff puff because you can actually eat this empty and it's so filling like the result was the best i don't know if you've never tried banana puff puff don't throw away your overripe banana it is best when you make your puff puff with it so go to my other video in the description box you're going to see how to make puff puff the only thing you do that you reduce the quantity of sugar there by two and replace it with banana so that is just it i hope you enjoyed this video if you find it interesting please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up look at that puff puff look at how fresh it looks it looks clean you won't even bet it's banana puff puff so i tried to compare the two look at the difference a is banana puff puff and b is the normal puff puff just look at that 
my banana puff came out accordingly. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Stay tuned for the next yummy recipe coming up very soon. I really appreciate the love you've been showing me.